Hello everybody and happy Black Friday. This is Ath coming to you with a, uh, well, kind of a fun stream here. Um, we've got the ability to uh, preview the new black ships. And I gotta say, they don't look too bad, huh? Um, I have all of them. I, I wanna just kind of share them with you. And then I've got the Black Friday containers. I've got a, a bunch of them to open up here so we can take a look at uh, how everything works out. Uh, first and foremost, the ship is the exact same as um, what you see here with the original. And to prove that, I'm going to put the same camo on the black ship. There we go. And you can see it's an identical ship. It's just a different paint job over it. It looks sexy as hell, though. Um, you can see there the, the bonuses um, of the turret. It's black here. Just 50% XP per battle, 10% to the post-battle stats. That's a little unfortunate. Um, personally, I would have liked to have seen better benefits. You can see it's the exact same benefits as the stock turrets. Um, but you can see here, if you have the, um, the Winter Campaign one from last year, you get a little bonus to free XP as well, which is kind of nice. Then, of course, you've got the Magnus Hall there. With the really fun horn. You didn't know about that already. What is this? Wow, I don't... <laughs> I don't remember seeing this one. Dedicated anniversary of the project, huh? Well, it looks to me like that's a Guild Wars 2 kind of a deal. So I wonder if this got put out by accident, but that kind of looks nice too. Um, and then there's this one. Oh, the Norwegian Turpets one, yeah. That looks kind of nice. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting distracted here by, by camos. Um, I'm going to change the ports, though, and we're going to go to New York um, because New York has a really good lighting setup so we can see how how some of these ships look in New York Harbor. And you can see that it helps us to pull out some of the details in the in the camel, like the, the blue on the barrels, um, some of the extra little striping going on there. The plane looks cool. That's more of a purplish color, I suppose. Then you've got the uh, Iron Cross here on the back. I think that's the Iron Cross. Anyway, um, Looks looks fine. Now my understanding is that if you if you purchase Turpits Black and you already own a Turpits, then you get a special mission to get some extra doubloons. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, so something to consider. Uh, let's go on to the other ships here. Here's the Massachusetts Black. I think it looks really nice. I love the, uh, look at the funnel, look at the lighting effect, how it just reflects and kind of gleams off of the, the funnel there, showing up these slight details. That looks really nice. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the Black Otago. Oh, I should probably say, so here's the Massachusetts Standard. Here it is in black. Um, there's your Standard. And there's your Black. Um, here's the Otago. Now, for a ship like Otago, um, this might come in handy, especially if you're sitting in the shadow of an island or something like that. It gets really hard to kind of see. So it might give you a slight advantage on the battlefield as well, especially, I would think, the Asashio Black. Um... Where is my Otago? Why are you not one of my primary ships, buddy? There you go. So here's the standard Otago. And then here's the black Otago. All right, let's put the uh, standard camo on. Oh, right, yeah, and then there's um, the tropical Otago camo you can buy now for doubloons. There's the combat Otago. Ooh. I kind of like that. <laughs> eh, that's all right. What is this one? 
That's um another it looks like Guild Wars 2 camo there. Huh. It's interesting. Does the Massachusetts have these? No. Okay. Sorry guys, you, those of you that know me, you know I love looking at camouflages. So here's our um, Asashio black. I, I like the little grid work there on the decking. Rails. Yeah, it looks kind of nice, huh? Now, you, you know, these are obviously perma camos on these ships. And like I said, they're identical to the other ship over here. Yes, I do have Takao manning the uh, Sashio. Deal with it. Here's the, um, probably the, the better camo for the Sashio. Compare that to the black. There you go. Um, but I'm sure you're all thinking, well, what can I get? So let's open up some containers here. Uh, we're going to start with this because I, I just played a quick game in the uh, War Spite to unlock the British container because I wanted to start here. We'll go to Profile now um, and go to Collections. I wanted to start the Royal Navy Collection. Here we go. Collecting. All right. Because, I you know, I might, oops, I might end up getting um, some collection items at the same time. All right, here's Black Friday container number one. What do we get? I haven't even, I don't remember the, um, the, uh, ooh. Nice, nice benefits there. I don't remember what you can get in these things. I don't know how many of these I have either. I think I've got like 15 of them. 10 type 59. Meh. Or that. Thirty-five thousand free XP. I suppose if you're grinding up ships and stuff, that's helpful. Seems to me like the Type Fifty Nine is the most bluff so far. Fourteen days premium time. Well, that's nifty. And you know they're uh, looking to change up the um, how premium time works, so that uh, you get a little bonus. Oh, doubloons! Twelve fifty doubloons. Okay, well, um, I'll take that. <laughs> Maybe I'll go buy me some of those camos I saw. Hey, another 14 days of premium. They're changing up the premium time now so that you get uh, plus 15, 15% extra uh, to your first win if you have World of Warships premium versus the standard premium. That's kind of nifty. Still, it looks like Type 59 is the most boring of uh, the results here. So, it seems like it's somewhat common. Yuck. I mean, technically, they're... Oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> I guess I have a Royal Navy container. I should probably open the rest of mine. But anyway, it, it looks to me like it's kind of... You know, you... You, um... You get the... Let's see, the doubloon value of the Type 59 is what? I think it's... It's 100 doubloons? Something like that? So if it's 100 doubloons, well, then, you know, there's that too. So. Huh, okay. I think these are actually the, um, I think these are the premium Royal Navy containers that you can purchase um, in the shop. So, not only are we looking at Black Friday containers, we're looking at the premium Royal Navy containers and you can see here we get two collection items plus one of those nice special economic flags it's not a bad deal um, when you unlock everything in the um, collection you're going to end up getting uh, a second flag available for all British ships which to me is really nice as you guys know I'm smog so I like to put extra flags on things it looks kind of fun 
Um, and you get a uh, special camouflage for Gallant. Is it, no, no, for, for... Okay! Well then! <laughs> I get the second flag on all British destroyers now. Yay! That's neat! Um, anyway. So you get, you get the, um... You get special camouflage on the Lightning. And I believe it's actually the Haida that you get it on. So we'll have to see if I finish the, the collection or not. Um, looks like I've got 15 of these as well. Oh, pumpkin container. I haven't opened some of my older containers, guys. So <laughs> I apologize. You get to watch me open some of these other triple gold. Neat. Some of these other containers um, that... Uh, you know, I haven't opened yet. Rip. Oh well. Anyways, um, it seems to me like the Black Friday containers are okay. If you're looking for that special black camo, um, that's pretty nice. Um, I think that you have the ability to pull a ship from it as well. You could even get one of the um, black ships, I think. Don't quote me on that, because obviously we didn't see it happen on, on my video, but um, of course it's always possible. Okay, so let's take a look here. If I go into Type 59 Camo, where are you? I've got so much camo. Oh my god, here it is. Okay, it's 100 doubloons, so 10, so that's 1,000 doubloons worth of camo, or yeah, worth of camouflage, so... Okay, I mean, if you're grinding ships, um, that extra, you know, that 200% is quite nice. Now, what I can do is I can take any ship I want, and I can put that special black camouflage on it. And it doesn't look as good as the black ship. Um, what I can, but it does look, it does look nice. And of course, the benefits are nice too. So let's um, let's do this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna paint it black. There we go. And then we'll flip back and forth so you can see the difference. You can see that the the black permafrost really is black. <laughs> it's deep, dark black versus what you get on the on the consumable um, camouflage, which is fine. Um, that's still a, I still think it's, I, th I think it's still pretty damn sexy. Now, we have to do, we have to do the meme. Um, so give me a second here. Tier nine, USS Black. We're gonna paint the black black, because we can. There you go. <laughs> there it is, black USS Black. But yeah, you know, um, it, it doesn't look too bad. Could have some fun with it. Um, you know, take a key and paint it black. So, there you go. A lot of ships can, can be kind of fun like that. Um, let's go to profile. And let's take a look at how... I've got 14 out of 16 items collected, and I've got enough duplicates to finish off the collection. So I can show you guys what you get for the, um, for the, uh, from the plages. I really do like how they did this, by the way. That looks really cool. The different camo, and then all the stuff you can read about it. And that's neat. Alright, we're gonna purchase that for five. And we'll finish off the collection. Ta-da! What did I get? Second flag for Commonwealth ships. And lightning and high dust special camouflage. Plus a commemorative flag. Neat. Alright, so now let's go to Royal Navy Destroyers. Uh, go away, go away. Don't care about you. Go away, go away, go away. And we don't want premium only. 
There we go. Okay. So, permanent camouflage for the lightning. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. You get 50% minus 10. So it's the same as the as the permafloss that you can buy. I'm surprised that they didn't unlock a second color like they did with the uh, with the Americans and the, the Japanese. That's okay. I like this camouflage. This looks really nice. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. And it's cool, kind of, kind of cool too. You can see it in the um, in the um, sorry in the collection window there. You can see the you can see like the little swap there of the of the camo. All right, so obviously most people, I'm, uh, I would imagine, are going to be rolling with this maple leaf because, you know, Canadian ship. Let's see what the height looks like with that. Hmm. What do you guys think? You like this one better? I think it looks more wartime-y and all that good stuff. 50-10, 50-10, 50-10. So there's no economic reason to run one or the other. It's just a visual thing. Okay. Not bad. Do, 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 do. Let's let's go to the proper British port. And since we don't have any um, Canadian ports yet, .tm or something, <laughs> uh, we could take a look at what the ship looks like in London. Not bad. Not bad at all. And do, 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 where is the other one? Lightning. Lightning is a very fun destroyer. Uh, the, the 8, 9, and 10 are very fun destroyers. So if you don't have one yet, get you one. They're great. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that covers pretty much um, everything that uh, we were going to take a look at. Let's, uh, let's paint it black while we're at it. I'm going to have to remember which ships I painted black so I can unpaint them again. <laughs> I might want that consumable for later. All right, go back to standard. Um, but anyway, thank you everybody for joining in. Oh, what would the black look like on Spaceport? Oh, okay. We're gonna go back to tier eight. I think I painted the black black as well, US. Nope, nope, nope. US, Japanese, da da. And we need premium ships, da da. Okay. See what I mean about like in the shadows and stuff like that? I like the little, I like the little uh, stripey there. You don't, see the thing about this camel that's really cool, you just, you don't notice some of the, uh, the colors and stuff until you take it to you know, a specific type of lighting, and then you can see it. So that's kind of cool compared to the standard. And um, let's go ahead and paint uh, paint the Otago black with the consumable black camo after we look at it again. Okay, so this is all. So they probably all have this little extra swoosh thing on the on the bottom there. That's kind of cool. Not bad at all. Okay, now we're gonna go down and paint it with the Shadow Lurker black. And you can see the difference here. Um, still kind of has that, still got the characteristic Japanese IJN red on the, the deck there. Still looks pretty nice. Definitely, um, and the, the bonuses are really nice. 75% is kind of meh, but the 11150 is pretty cool. Um, where else do I have? I've got Massachusetts. All right, so you I painted black. All right, let's put you back. I had you on Frosty Fur, but I'll put you back on regular. There you go. Massachusetts fun boat. If you guys are looking for my personal picks on these ships, 
which ones to get if you're thinking about buying some of the black ships. Um, personally, I would say go for the battleships. Oh, it's got four propellers. That's cool. I go for I go for full um, four. I go for the the battleships. Um, the Massachusetts is a hell of a lot of fun, especially if you go for a full secondary build. Um, currently, my Massachusetts is captained by Commander Kappa, <laughs> and um, I mean, you don't even you don't even need manual secondaries. Like that's the beauty of this ship is you just you just go out there, you put AFT on it, you put um, you put uh, IFHE on it so that your secondaries pen more and then you just sail around and gun down things with your secondaries it's um it's a probably the laziest um, setup for any of the um, for any of the uh, secondary spec battleships um, by the way if you haven't noticed I, I could go back to the Massachusetts for a second if you haven't noticed if you go under your artillery and stuff it now tells you what your HE damage is and what your penetration is for those shells. So you can see this, um, you know, uh, you've got the, the 406 millimeter guns of the Massachusetts. Divide that by six, that's your penetration there actually, and then multiply um, by 1.3 if you've got IFHE. So you can see here 67 millimeters, and then for the secondaries, 20 millimeter. Now, 20 millimeter means it'll pen just about every destroyer it runs up against, except for, you know, well, a little Russian. Um, but the thing is, it won't penetrate a lot of cruisers, because most cruisers have 25 millimeter deck. So, summon Commander Kappa with his um, IFHE, and now we've gone from, uh, gone from 20 millimeters, uh, whoop, where's the secondary, from 20 millimeters to 27 millimeters. So now you can penetrate those... Um, those cruiser decks and and armored like the upper belts and the bow and stern sections and stuff like that. So your secondaries get a huge buff, and then you've got 88 millimeters a pen for HE shell versus 67. I don't know why you'd want to fire HE, but um, <laughs> if you want to, you can do that kind of stuff, I suppose. Um, now my favorite, I think, um, in this game ship is still going to be the turpits. It's just, it's like, it's like my guilty pleasure ship when I want to just take it out and just do whatever the hell I want with it, throw a secondary spec on it and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the turpits here in the black hull. I just, I love the little subtle undertones in it. You can tell, um, there, there's a lot of criticism of wargaming and saying, well, you just took a tank and, you know, painted it black for World of Tanks and you're just doing that for ships. And I don't know, I, maybe? But I, I feel like it's it's got a lot of detail on it. I do like how it looks. And then of course let's uh, do, do, do. let's paint it black while we're at it. There it is painted black. Interesting the um, the rear doesn't have that cross anymore versus the standard. So anyway, that's just what they, they painted on there. Um, I want to talk about too. That's cool. So yeah, so Zath's recommendations. I mean, all of them are fun ships. I would definitely prioritize. I mean, Turbids, come on, it's got the secondaries, and then it's got, of course, the um, torpedoes. So that's pretty nice. Um, maybe I should put IFEG on this. 36 and then 17 millimeters is kind of low for the 105s. Hmm. Um, anyways, I don't think my, no, I don't have IFHE on this guy. But anyways, guys, um, thanks for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, the video. And uh, we saw here, we didn't just open up the, the 15 um, the, the fifteen Black Friday boxes. We also opened up the 15 premium Royal Navy containers. So we opened up quite a bit here, and that's kind of cool. Um, once again, have fun. I hope you guys um, enjoy the turkey event that's going on right now. If you aren't familiar with that, make sure that you jump in and follow the schedule. Schedule is posted on the forums, and look for turkeys. Look for me. I'm number 11. 
Um, for the turkey event, I'm going to be streaming that for a bit, and uh, you'll you'll get to watch me um, play around. And I'm doing something special for this. I am taking out zero point captains. I'm not putting any upgrades, any flags on the ship. I'm just taking the ship out and trying to do as much as I can while still dying. Because of course I want to give out prizes to people and uh, all that good stuff. So once again, thanks and have a great rest of your Thanksgiving and uh, holiday weekend. Take care, everyone.